we've said that we will introduce compulsory licensing of all private sector landlords. So that's something which we will do if landlords don't up their game. Um, Labour too nationally has promised action on the private renter sector. You might have seen recently we promised to abolish letting agency fees that rip people off whenever they have forced to move. And also, we, I agree that we need to have some increase in rent, and Labour said that we would introduce that. We will limit the amount you are able to increase the rent by from year to year, giving families in the private renter sector security. Um, so I think that, as I said, we didn't get everything right from 97 to, to 2010, but I think we had a strong record. I think locally, in particular, we, we've done well on delivering the housing that we need. But we're not satisfied with that, and we're going to go far beyond that. 2,000 affordable homes, 500 council homes, and tackling bad practice in the private rented sector. So I know there's a lot of people here who aren't ne necessarily Labour supporting, but that is what we are hoping to do, and I, I hope that you can support us at the local election. Thank you. This is a defend council housing process. We are a broad uh, campaign box. So and the meeting is about inviting the candidates who are standing locally for election in the two wards. Uh, these two wards, New Cross and Eden, have the biggest and highest concentration of council houses. So it's a, it's a meeting for residents and for tenants and for the politicians and people who are seeking election. So we haven't invited somebody from uh, Lewisham Homes or Lewisham Council. This is uh, a meeting uh, for people interested in housing and housing issues. I'm in the wrong place next time because I might be representing the Lewisham Homes. I'm challenging that in this contract with Lewisham Homes constantly encouraging them to get off this trip. Okay, all right. Okay, moving on. Susanna? Yeah, my name is Susanna Farley and I'm here tonight to represent the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition. Um, you know, if you could bear with me, I'm not like other people, I've never been on the Hustings before, and also Chris Flood, who's our mayoral uh, candidate, was due to speak here tonight. Unfortunately, he can't make it, so I'm uh, basically standing in his stead and I've not had a lot of time to prepare. Um, firstly, I want to say that Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition, as you might imagine, is based on the trade unions uh, and uh, I think um, uh, its uh, perspective is unique. It's basically saying no cuts, no privatisation of any kind. If we're elected, we will never vote for cuts or, and we will never vote for privatisation. In terms of housing, privatisation is basically soft transfer. I'm council tenant myself and uh, basically um, the Labour-dominated uh, Russian Council uh, forced an ALMO on us, that's an arms uh, length management organisation, which uh, you know has an amazing number of uh, uh, re representatives of housing associations on it, you know, which are inclu increasingly commercialised, plus um, uh, management consultants and people like that. We weren't asked, you know, I mean, it, it wasn't something that the tenants were asked to vote on, uh, but we got it anyway. And it's basically what it is, it's a halfway house uh, between um, uh, council tenancy and privatisation. However, what we did get a vote on a couple of years ago was whether uh, to, you know, whether we wanted uh, our homes to be transferred um, to a housing association, namely Hyde. Now, we know that Lotion Council spent a million pounds, you know, and this is apart from what Hyde spent, a million pounds on trying to persuade us um, to vote yes. We didn't, so we kept our council housing, and we're really, really glad that we did. Um, that's just to say, you know, what TUF stands for and the type of approach that uh, TUF would have if, if it were uh, elected. Um, basically, uh, in terms of the uh, terrible situation with uh, affordable housing, you know, where demand is far, far outstripping supply, we've got at the moment 18,000 uh, uh, people on the waiting list who basically have no, most of them really haven't got a hope until they getting a council house. What TAP would do if it formed a council, we know that it won't, but obviously these are things that TAP representatives will be pushing for. We would build 
3,000 more council homes, which is equivalent to the number of people who are now on the housing list at the moment for social housing. And this would be just the beginning. I mean, clearly, Lewisham's population is expanding, and it would mean that we, we, we would need more. Um, we would take all unoccupied uh, properties into council stock. So, you know, if anything was just uh, standing around, basically being unused, we would take those houses into council ownership and we would fill them up with people who needed housing. We tackle um, sky high rents in the private sector and cap these rents at the le a level of average social rent. We'd also introduce the council run letters agency, I think similar to uh, what uh, Lushan People Support Profit has described, and that would make sure that private housing is well maintained and affordable. We refuse to implement the bedroom tax. I mean, this is a really, really iniquitous tax, you know, which oppresses many uh, uh, working class people who've got very few resources, low paid workers, uh, people on benefits. Um, you've got a situation where people are forced out of their homes, they can't pay the bedroom tax, they can't downsize because councils and housing associations just haven't got the one bedroom property. So, what happens? Uh, you know, the people are pushed out into private rented accommodation, perhaps outside the borough, and um, the, uh, the burden on the public purse doesn't, doesn't decrease, it increases. Because, you know, typically you've got a situation where um, housing benefit is in fact landlord benefit, and there's many really wealthy landlords who are making money hand over this out of poor people on housing benefit. So that is something we would stop. We would not uh, implement the bedroom tax. We would ensure that no one uh, is evicted um, as a result of, of, of non-payment. So in terms of what we're talking about, uh, um, you know, expanding the supply of council housing, how would we pay for this, you might say? Well, firstly, we would use the council's reserves. We know that these are for emergencies. Well, if housing in Lewisham isn't an emergency, then I don't know what is. Secondly, we reduce money uh, borrowed against uh, the housing revenue account. Um, unfortunately, uh, this is less than uh, we might hope for because of the number of uh, stock transfers that have gone through in Lewisham. Uh, so clearly, this, this, this is limited. We would also uh, uh, campaign for the cap to be withdrawn. I mean, at the moment, there is a cap on the amount that uh, councils can borrow. And even if you look at the housing revenue account as it stands now, often, uh, you know, in the case of many councils, um, there's, there's more in terms of council revenue for housing that could stand against borrowing than the cap actually allows. So we would campaign for uh, the cap uh, uh, to be abolished. Okay, so we would do that. But also, we would campaign uh, for government funding of council houses to be restored. You can't have self-funding by councils of council homes. I mean, basically, it's a crackpot Tory scheme that the Labour Party is meekly following, that somehow everything must be, be, be run as if it's a small business. Well, no, it's not a small business. Uh, council housing is a public utility. It has a completely different ethos and worldview. The ethos of public utilities is human needs, not private greed and not an accounting balance sheet. So, therefore, we would uh, campaign for that to be restored. I mean, in short, tough is with working people all the way, it is for the millions, not the millionaires, so I hope you will endorse our, pro uh, our program and vote for us. We're standing in over 500 constituencies in London, so wards in London and outside London, so I hope you will give uh, us your support. <laughs>
So that is why I'm here, and that's what I'm, I'm going to discuss today. We're going to discuss how. I want you to, now we've heard a lot, and actually I think everybody's made really good points here. I can agree with certain things that everybody has said. So hopefully I'll try and answer some of the things people have said and bring some of our own ideas to bear. 33,922 households live in what Lewis and Council calls unsuitable housing. 10% of households in Lewisham are overcrowded. There are over 2,000 people in temporary accommodation. My um, uh, past fellow panelist was completely right when she said there is a crisis of housing in Lewisham. What is the Conservative Party's answer here? Now, I think the first thing, first thing that we should look at and discuss is more social housing. We want to build more social housing here in Lewisham. What is the record of Lewisham Council? Now, I actually, I respect um, the Labour uh, uh, Council Council a lot, Joe, mm -hmm. that's it, sorry. Joe, um, he's obviously a very nice guy, he knows his stuff. He spent a lot of time talking about the national picture, you know, what the Labour government was meant to do. I looked at what Lewisham Council, which has been run by Labour for almost 40 years, how many council houses have they built until the last couple of months? None. None in the last 30 years. The idea that they can sit here and say they believe in building more social housing, they have not built any in the last 30 years until the last couple of months, last couple of months which started. So that's the first thing we should know. But then, what's, what's the Conservative Party's answer? You know, everybody, I'm not alone in thinking we need to build more council houses. I think everybody said that. How do you pay for it? We've heard different uh, ideas for that. Uh, I think that one thing that we can look at that Lewisham Council can look at are in relation to social housing is Lewisham Council owns the freeholds of various buildings and uh, houses of which the leaseholds have been sold off privately. They're, com they're completely privately held leaseholds. These freeholds could be, if a, if a certain percentage of these freeholds were sold in order directly <coughs> to build social housing, that could generate funds in order to build social housing in the way that people have described. I'm not saying that's the only idea, I'm saying that's one idea. And by the way, this is something, if you're thinking, well, has this happened anywhere else? Is this just some mad, madcap Tory scheme? Camden Council, which last time I checked was not the most right wing of councils, has recently had plans drawn up which are worth £50 million. Pounds. So if they were to sell off all of their free homes, which I'm not saying that they, they are going to, in fact they haven't decided yet, that it would generate £50 million. Pounds. Even if Lewisham Council could generate a fifth of that, a tenth of that, wouldn't that go some way into building more social housing? So I think that's something that Lewisham Council could consider and think about. The second thing, we've heard a lot about affordable housing. Affordable housing is very important. You know, I'm not somebody who believes, and that's probably one of the reasons why I'm in the Conservative <coughs> Party, that we should only look towards social housing. Affordable housing is really important. What is the Labour-run Lewisham Council's record on affordable housing? They say their target for affordable housing for new developments is 50%. Now that sounds okay, until you actually look at what they've done. So, the Cannon Wharf development in Deptford, their target is 50%. They approved it, and yet only 20% of those homes were affordable. was affordable housing. There was the Thurston Road Industrial, uh, Thurston Road Industrial Estate. Again, they say their target is 50%, they approved it, 30% affordable housing. The Labour Council says one thing and does quite another. So I would just like you to consider the approach to the Conservative Party in some of these ways. I think that I had a very good idea to my fellow panellists here about maybe councils borrowing more money, but raising the tax on councils to borrow more money in order to build more social housing or build more affordable housing. The Conservative government, which may or may not, you may, may, may or may not know, has recently, uh, Eric Pickles, who's Secretary of State for um, Communities and Local Government, <coughs> has recently announced that councils can effectively apply to government to build up to 10,000 affordable homes to borrow extra money to build up to 10,000 affordable homes within its borough. 
So 10,000 affordable homes in Notre Dame, would this not make a big difference? Would this not help alleviate the crisis that we see ourselves in? So I think that that is one thing in which we can consider doing in a similar way as, as my fellow panelists described. Now I'd just like to quickly touch on a couple of um, criticisms that, that have come uh, against the Conservative Party or against the Conservative approach that we've heard so far. I mean, what do I have? Okay, firstly, we've heard about Convoy's Wharf, huge and expensive development being advertised in Malaysia or, or somewhere in the Far East for people to, to buy and then rent out. That is, we obviously want as many local people to live within Lewisham and be able to buy houses or, or rent houses privately within Lewisham as possible. Having said that, let's not shut ourselves off. Let's not think that by not allowing more people to come into Lewisham, we somehow make Lewisham better. It is not always a bad idea for new investment, new uh, blocks of flats like Renaissance or Convoy's Wharf, which help redevelop the area, help, help get people spending their money here, help create jobs here. You know, Lewisham actually, in terms of as a borough, compared to all the other boroughs of London, have the, have the highest number of people who commute out of the borough for work. The highest number. Would it, is it so bad to create new investment, new jobs within Lewisham? I'm not saying that, it's a, that, that we shouldn't build more affordable housing. I've already discussed how we need to build more affordable housing, but I'm just saying that new investment and new people should not always be sniffed at. And just one thing. Uh, let me, final, point. final point. Right. Letting agency fees. This is something which I think is a, is a recent idea from, from the Labour Party. That if you were to stop all letting agency fees, you'd have a lot of people just not letting housing. And if you have fewer people letting houses, no, it's true. If you have fewer people as estate agents letting houses, then the supply will go down even though the demand stays the same. How does that improve the position in which many people find themselves? I ask you to ponder this. Those things. But thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm going to discriminate now because I'm going to ask.